I've just come across this website which is quite interesting. Um, it measures the Schumann resonance power and it's on this it's on this website called heartmath.org. Now it displays the data in a number of different ways. So if you scroll down, um, you'll find this particular graph. Now what these lines are are um, six different stations around the globe. Um, they call them GCI 001, 002, 003, etc. And here's where they all are down the bottom of the screen. Now, this purple line is um, GCI 006, which is in South Africa in a place called... Uh, I've got no idea, <laughs> no idea how to pronounce that, so I'm not even going to try. Um, okay, so if we just... This is the last 28 days of data. So we just view all the data. We can see that these three blips measured by this South Africa station are significantly higher than they've ever been before. Okay, so first of all, I wanted to see whether these blips correspond to um, the activations that we're having uh, right now, so if I just go down to hang on, 28 days, right, this is the last 28 days of data, so obviously this one here, this blip on the 25th of January is the first major blip um, in all the data that is on this site. Now, the Uvada Force Awakening, uh, according to the last dispensation, began on the uh, it was actually Friday the 27th of January. Um, so that is here, which is at the very bottom, um, like trough of this thing here. And then as soon as it begins, it comes up to nearly um, the same level again. Um, now it says here that it's measuring it from 0.32 to 36 hertz. So I'm not sure what these numbers are on the incremental lines uh, so I'll just assume that this top line is 36 Hertz because I've seen other like articles and stuff where people have been saying that this human resonance frequency has hit 36 Hertz so um, that's probably right that's probably around 36 Hertz or just underneath it according to this um, so you had our force awakening begins here and it shoots right up, comes back down, and then it starts building up again to where it hits another peak, which was yesterday, February the 14th. Now, interestingly, I've just woken up um, after sleeping for 16 hours. <laughs> so, uh, so I don't know what was going on, um, but I was so tired yesterday that I don't even know how I managed to get through the day without keeling over. But yeah so whether that blip's got anything this blip here has got anything to do with it um i don't know but it's probably likely now it'd be interesting to see what happens to these lines over the next couple of days because on friday the 17th of february which is in two days from now um the crystal caverns fully open for projection access now we've not been told any technicals about what the crystal caverns actually are but um one thing that is certain is that it's something that's opening up which means new frequencies are going to become available um so maybe that that will measure that will outpicture into the human resonance um, on the planet somehow. Uh, I'm guessing it will do, but we'll see in the next couple of days anyway. Now, this black line is interesting here. Th this, this is a station, this is GCI 002, which is um, in Saudi Arabia, in a place called Hofuf or Hofuf, not quite sure how to pronounce that one either. Um, now that has done something really interesting um, on the 
13th of February. That seems to have um, that seems to be going dramatically down in opposition to the station in South Africa going up. And if you actually um, if you actually scroll back in the data, in fact, if you just click all, um, the last time it sort of went down to those levels was around well 12th of april and it looks like it's actually gone down beyond the bottom of the graph so we don't actually know what it did go down to um but anyways this is the biggest it looks like a huge uptick um following the purple one and then it's dramatically shut down now I'm not sure whether there's actually anything in Saudi Arabia that they're doing to the grids to try and counteract the frequency going up. It's certainly something that the FAs would try. Um, I don't want to put my mind on that, but it's just interesting to see that um, the data from this station hugely um, in opposition to the one in South Africa. Um, so make of that what you will. I don't. I don't quite know what's going on there. But anyway, yeah. Uh, go and check this site out for yourself. It's quite interesting. Um, I'm going to check it out in the next couple of days and see what happens to this purple line and the black one. Uh, yeah, good stuff.